Action SA is calling for an urgent debate on the financial status of the city of Ekuruleni. The party says the metro's finances are in a state of meltdown. Uh, surprisingly, given that the Auditor General has previously deemed Ikuraleni as one of the few municipalities in Gauteng with adequate financial management. Uh, let's try and make sense of this. Senior reporter Maloko Maloto is out on that story for us, joining us uh, now here on Newslink. Hello to you, Maloko. Let's take a look then at how it is we have two very different versions of the finances of Tswane. They're either good or they aren't. What is your understanding? Well, uh, we are talking about Ekuruleni here, the municipality that uh, had been run uh, by the ANC at least until the 2021 local government elections. And uh, if you read uh, the Auditor General's report, it would seem that uh, generally she was impressed because not much really was uh, flagged. Of course, uh, we saw the... Um, after the 2021 elections, a coalition arrangement of some sort that was led by the Democratic Alliance, it was uh, later uh, arrested out of power by another coalition uh, that is now being led uh, by the AIC. Of course, you spoke about the concerns that uh, were raised by Action SA. That particular motion was actually tabled before council last week by the Democratic Alliance. And maybe let's speak to the DA itself over that. Uh, my guest is Fanya Nangosi, councillor at Eguruleni. So thank you so much for making time. Maybe just paint us a picture for those who may not know the state of finances in Eguruleni. No, thanks, uh, Muloko, and thanks, uh, 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 greetings to the viewers at home as well. Uh, Muloko, the situation is dire. Uh, as we're speaking, uh, at the end of June, we're literally sitting at four days, which is 438 million rand of cash in, in, in our bank. Uh, by the national treasury norm, uh, the city must have 30 days uh, uh, cash in, in, the, in the bank. I, I put it in, 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 in simple terms. I mean, you guys as councillors passed a 55.3 billion rand budget uh, in the beginning of the financial year that started only in July. It's been how many months now? few months. You're not even halfway through the financial year. How come you are having difficulties when it comes to finances already? Okay. Now, let me put it this way in simple terms. So we have repairs and maintenance where you need to pay your suppliers on a regular basis. In our motion, if you read, we are currently owing suppliers over 2.5 billion rent. That's excluding ESCOM and rent water and also uh, sanitation. So meaning that infrastructure will be impacted and supplier won't be paid. Repairs and maintenance won't be, uh, won't be happening as we have these power outages happening now and then. Meaning people goes, uh, uh, live, uh, they go over days without electricity because there's no money to pay suppliers. There's no money to buy uh, equipment or store consumable to, for you to fix those electricity uh, cables that are being stolen or that, that are being vandalized. So the issue is, as we're speaking, uh, the, four day, the four hours means you are unable to pay suppliers to continue with uh, regular repairs and maintenance. So my understanding is that uh, the budget of a municipality, partly in, in addition to the equitable share that would come from the National Treasury, would also be based on the projected um, uh, 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 your ability to collect revenue from the consumers and businesses. Does it mean the fact that, as you are saying, you are in a financial trouble, you as the municipality uh, are not collecting enough? Yeah, correctly. We are not collecting enough from our, from our consumers. Uh, National Treasury says we must collect uh, at least 95%. Uh, and uh, if we would have seen, we are collecting less than 90% in terms of the revenue that you are collecting. You might be misled that we collected uh, in July 129. But let me put that statement correctly. In July, uh, uh, we had a motion that says uh, people that have property of 250 can now uh, go to 250 and be deemed indigent. Mm. And we don't have to collect from those. They get some free basic uh, services and there was a written off. And by the way, when we, uh, we brought a draft uh, budget as the, uh, as the co Matic Party Coalition, we said, no, people are struggling because of load shedding. People are losing their jobs. So 
majority of the uh, resident in Eguruleni are, are struggling. So let's increase their, their, their value, the property values. That okay. le le let's, let's talk about the tangible impact of this yes. on services. If you are saying that uh, the service providers, the suppliers are owed in uh, total about 3 billion rent, how is this impacting on the collection of uh, rubbish and other maintenance of uh, infrastructure and all other services that are required? If you might have uh, uh, remembered in the last two, two weeks or three weeks, there was uh, some protest in Guatemala, protest in Zakani, the issues of, 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 of uh, uh, water not being supplied. Uh, and as, we, as we're sitting right now, uh, you, you'll be in the situation where rubbish is not collected. Uh, and I can tell you, if you go to a gymistin, there are, there are areas where electricity has not been there for the past two weeks, for the past three weeks, because we were unable to pay those service providers, and they, we, in, in, in turn, withhold their services. Yeah. You put in a, an urgent motion to have uh, the state of finances in your council to be discussed, and my understanding is that uh, the speaker did not allow it last week, Thursday. All these figures that you are mentioning here, where do you get that? I would assume that the... the, the Either the executive mayor or the MMC for finance hasn't been providing you this as you had wanted possibly on Thursday. Where do you get all these uh, figures? I, I sit on the finance oversight. Uh, on the finance oversight, we held executive to account. They will then will request some sort of report. Uh, this report of the two, three billion rand, it was given to us in that oversight that this is how much we owe service providers. In terms of what we, we have in cash in hand, uh, at the end of, uh, of, of June, would have been presented with an annual draft financial by, by the executive uh, that gives the f state of the finances. That's when you get the figures and calculate how many days is left. So if the municipality cannot pay the suppliers, how long do you think it can go before it gets to a point where it may not even pay salaries for employees and you as councillors? I'm afraid, I think we are at that stage. Uh, that's why we brought this motion as an agent motion, because we need a strategy. We need a strategy from the executive to tell us uh, what will be the turnaround, how, how we're going to turn this thing around so that... Well, give us a solution. You are in council. Part of your responsibilities is to assist. What would that strategy entail? Uh, my solution is in the motion itself. When we came in as, 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 as a, as a multi-party government, we had put in strategies in place. Firstly, for revenue enhancement, we, ha we had a task team. We developed a task team. We set up a task team that will go and identify areas, especially in, 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 in industries where we are not billing them correctly. Because there are areas where no, we're not billing industries collect, uh, correctly. Then that task team will go and identify revenue leakages and go get those revenue leakages. To assist our residents that are struggling, we had a debt re a rehabilitation in place. It's a scheme where uh, you've been struggling as a resident, you cannot pay, you go into the municipality, 50% of your, of, 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 of your, of your, of your, of your debt, we put it aside. You continue with your current debt. Then you have, your, meaning in, 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 the th in the next three, uh, three years, we write off that debt. Then we had, we had what you call a, 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 a discount incentives. Yeah. So we in incentivize, incentivize those who are, who are paying, paying consistently. Uh, for, for, for six months with no fee, yeah. those then they get a 2% rebate on their bill. How is this current administration, when we are concluding, how is the, the, the current uh, leaders or those who are in charge of administration, how are they not getting it right? I mean, if uh, those are the solutions that uh, you have. Yeah, that, that one it baffles me. That's why we say we need those strategies to be presented uh, and, and assist where there are gaps. Probably they didn't know what we, we had thought when we, br we brought those uh, strategies in place. So it, as, 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 as opposition as well and part of council, it's for us to assist with those strategies that we put in place. Tell us what were the reasons uh, given to you for not allowing, for the council speaker not to allow your urgent motion to be debated on Thursday um, if this is indeed such an urgent matter.
I don't know. It's 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 obviously her prerogative to say she cannot take it as an agent. But uh, if, 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 if the reason can see, if you are saying we cannot pay service providers and uh, repairs and maintenance is not happening, this thing is agent. Uh, it's only her that can say why she didn't uh, deem as as as, as agent. Uh, and our 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 whip in cancer did raise it uh, that uh, th this motion is urgent. Uh, Residents out there are without power for two weeks. Uh, Residents are, are without water for two, three weeks. So I if, if, you, if you read yourself uh, and you apply logic, you can see this thing was it was actually, it, even now, it's, it's as urgent as, as, as it was on, on, on Thursday. All right, thank you so much. Councillor Fanyana Ngosi of uh, the Democratic Alliance uh, talking about the situation in Eguruleni. Uh, we certainly will make an effort to reach out to either the executive mayor and uh, or the MMC for finance. We have uh, phoned those offices hoping that they will make time to speak to us so that we can also hear uh, their side of the story. Yeah, it's all part of our focus today on a lack of leadership that's now resulting in infrastructure issues. Moloko Moloto, uh, quite right out for us uh, today as also well. Action SA calling for an urgent debate uh, on the finances as far as Ikoleleni uh, is concerned.